Coach Kyle, Soccer Performance Coach at Champions Quest, and I'm here to talk to you about activating one of the largest and strongest muscles in the body, the glutes. The glutes are comprised of three main muscles, the glute medius, the glute minimus, and the glute maximus. These three muscles work in conjunction to abduct, rotate, and extend the hip. The glutes are in the center of the body, and virtually any activity which involves movement of the pelvis from bending over to pick up something to sprinting across a soccer field requires activity of the glutes. The glutes are normally weak and inactive in most people just because of the amount of sitting we do during the day. Us as Americans, we spend hours on end with our shoulders hunched over as we drive, as we're on our phones, as we're at our desk. This chronic rounding of the back can lead to some imbalances in the body and also put a lot of extra stress on the lower back. Also, a lack of glute activation can put the body at a high risk for internal rotation of the legs. Weak glutes may lead to a collapse of the knees inwards towards the center of the body. This is commonly associated with devastating knee injuries. It is very important when performing exercises such as the squat to make sure that the patella tracks directly over the toes. I'm going to be showing you 10 glute activation exercises today that you can use either in the beginning of your workout or at the end. The first five exercises are going to be with the mini bed. The next five exercises are going to be body weight exercises that you don't need any equipment for. The athlete situates the mini band so it's sitting right above the kneecaps with no crinkle in the band. Keeping the feet shoulder width, the athlete steps forward making sure they pause in between each step. The athlete places the band so it's situated right above the ankles. The athlete walks laterally or sideways making sure that their heels never come together. The athlete lies on their side with their heels tucked up towards their glutes. Keeping the heels pressed together, they open and close the knee, internally and externally rotating the hip. The athlete lies supine on their back with their heels pressed together. Keeping the heels pressed together, they open and close their knees at the same time. Lying prone on the stomach, the athlete makes their body straight. Keeping one leg on the ground, they raise the other in the air as high as they can, making sure they keep the leg straight. On their hands and knees in the quadruped position, the athlete internally and externally rotates the hip, trying to maintain a flat back throughout the entire exercise. On their hands and knees, the athlete drives their knee to their chest and then punches the heel of the foot straight up towards the ceiling while maintaining a flat back. In the quadruped position, the athlete punches the heel of their shoe straight backwards and then brings the knee out and around. When performing the exercise in the opposite direction, the athlete reaches their knee out to the side first, then extends their leg backwards and then pulls the leg in towards the body. Lying supine on their back, the athlete places their foot up over the opposite knee. The athlete then drives their hips up aggressively towards the sky and then slowly lowers the hips back towards the ground. Lying on their back in the supine position, the athlete brings their feet out the shoulder width. They then drive both hips up to the sky aggressively and then slowly lower their hips back towards the ground. Having strong glute muscles can protect an athlete reduce the likelihood of lower body injuries, and lastly, it can increase athletic performance.